Hello again. We're back for another experiment. We did okay with the leaves made into pellets just fine. What we're going to try now is this bark. I've got just a big old bag of bark here. Now this is bark that fell off of my firewood in my driveway this last winter. And it's pretty dry. I don't know how dry it is. But it's mostly spruce bark and a little bit of hemlock bark mixed in there for good measure. And we're going to grind it up and turn it into pellets, I hope. So the first step is to grind it up. I'll go do that right now. You can watch. I'll set this up here on the rear of the truck. Kind of aim it that general direction. And we'll make some bark. I think I'll wear my hearing protection and my eye protection this time, though. Last thing I need to do is be on camera as I knock my damn eyeball out. Are you watching? Can you keep up with this camera guy? Okay, well we converted the bark into bark sawdust. It turned out to this real pretty red color. And as you can see it's real fine. Looks real cool. I don't know if it's gonna make really good pellets or not, but it's kinda of cool to play around with. Uh, let's stick this down here. Now it shows an 8.1% moisture content. It's a little bit low, but let's try and make pellets out of it anyway. Talk to you in a bit. Okay, I got my eye, ear, and breathing protection on. So let's see if we can make some pellets out of this bark. You can watch. Well, maybe you can watch. I need another bucket. Go figure. I guess I won't be doing anything else tonight because this is my last bucket.
Want to see? They look nice. They're a little hot, a little steamy. I don't know if you can see that down there. But they came out just fine. I guess we'll have to see whether they burn real well when we get to that stage. Yeah, no binder, no nothing. That's making pellets. Bye.